Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's virtual lunch meeting. The session today is Learn How a Nice Recommended Treatment Range Reduces Wound Healing Time. My name is Alec O'Dare. I'm the Managing Director for Wound Care People, uh, and I'm joined today by Tori Brand, who's the Ergo Product Specialist. Tori, how are you doing? Really good, thank you. It's absolutely pouring here. <laughs> yeah, we were just discussing this. I, I, we're, we're not too far away from each other, and it's absolutely pouring here as well. So uh, down in, 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 uh, in not-so-sunny South Wales, where I am. Um, Tori, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for joining us today, and I'd like to thank uh, your company, Ergo, for supporting the event. I'd like to thank everybody for giving up their valuable time this lunchtime. Uh, as always, with these online events, certificates will be available at the end. Um, please ask as many questions as you can, because I'll be coming back after the presentation uh, to do a, a, a live Q&A with, uh, with Tori. Bear with us if we have any technical issues, as you've just heard, the weather is not so great either in Bristol or in Cardiff, So, uh, but I'm hoping that it holds up for the next 45 minutes. Um, so, yes, certificates will be available at the end. Copies of the slides, everybody asks whether they're going to be available. They'll be available via our website as of tomorrow. Uh, Tori, I'm going to hand over to you now. Good luck, and I will catch up with you shortly for the Q&A. Thank you. Thanks so much for attending the session. I'm really, really excited to take you through the Ergostart Plus treatment range, which is the NICE recommended treatment range proven to reduce healing time. In this whistle-stop tour of Ergostart Plus treatment range, I'll take you through who is it suitable for, how it works. I'll also take you through the wealth of clinical evidence and then how that translates into real life practice. And then I'll help you get the best out of Ergostart Plus treatment range by giving you some practical tips. And then we're going to look through um, a patient that's had an experience from Ergostart Plus treatment range. So who is Ergostart Plus treatment range for? For wounds to heal successfully, the four, wounds is, four phases of wound healing must take place in the proper sequence and time frame. Conditions such as advancing age, diabetes, vascular factors and reduced mobility can interfere with the wound healing trajectory due to factors such as reduced tissue perfusion, high levels of matrix metalloproteases and delayed responses. And this means that patients with these conditions will automatically be at risk of, of delayed healing. So it's really important to identify patients on your caseload that have these conditions so they can be given the appropriate treatment from day one to deal with their underlying causes to get the best outcomes as soon as possible and avoid um, complications. How does the Ergostart Plus treatment range work? When treating wounds, it's easy to address the visible factors such as protecting the periwound skin, managing excess exudate, and then cleaning the wounds to deal with the slough, fibrin and the debris, which are physical barriers to healing. The wound bed needs to be continuously cleaned to enable wound healing to take place. But we also need to treat the underlying issues caused by these risk factors that we've just been through, such as excess metalloproteases. Matrix metalloproteases or MMPs are enzymes that break down protein and they play a part in nearly all of the phases of wound healing. So they're really, really important in the wound healing pro process and they need to work properly to enable that normal wound healing trajectory. Some of the jobs include um, uh, destroying that uh, uh, damaged extracellular matrix and preparing the wound bed so that the new tissue can grow and they also support the growth of new blood vessels and support contraction and remodeling. So they really are present in, in most of those phases of wound healing. When we get patients with these conditions that we've been talking about, then those MMPs are completely overactive and out of control. And as well as doing the job they're meant to be doing, they're also, they're so overactive that when the new tissue is starting to form um, to get that wound to close, they are also destroying that new tissue. And it means that the um, wound healing can't pr um, progress on further. So the Ergostart Plus treatment range has been developed to continuously clean the wound, but also to manage these overactive MMPs. I'm just gonna take you through the actual dressing to tell you how it does that. 
We've got the material of the dressing, which are called polyabsorbent fibres. And they are found in um, our range um, ErgoClean as well. So if you're familiar with ErgoClean, you'll know exactly how it works. Um, and those, that material, those polyabsorbent fibres are designed to break down that slough. They then pick up the slough and remove it. So you will actually physically see it on the dressing as you remove it. So that keeps the wound nice and clean. Then we have our contact layer, which is slightly tacky and it's a gel. And in that gel, we have our compound TLC NOSF, and that's been specifically designed to get released into the wound bed, bind onto these MMPs and stop them working, get them back down to a manageable level so they can continue to do what they're meant to do and not destroy that new uh, tissue that's being formed. So as you can see here, we've got um, the cleaning from that polyabsorbent fibres. We've, um, we've got then the MMPs being controlled by the TLC NOSF compound. And because of that, the wounds are able to follow the normal wound healing trajectory. So we've got two formats of Ergostart Plus. We've got the pad version, uh, and this is this one here. And as you can see, if anyone's familiar with ErgoClean, it looks absolutely identical visibly um, to ErgoClean. Um, but on, in this tacky layer, that's where we have our MMPs. And in addition to that, we have our border. And this does exactly the same thing, but it also has an additional absorbent pad to manage exudate. And then we have a silicon bad backing that's adhesive. So I'll just take you through the formats of, of the Ergostart Plus treatment range now. So as I said, we've got the pad version and the bordered version. And these plus versions are for use on wounds from zero to 100% slough. So they've got the ability to clean the wounds, but also to keep those clean wounds clean as well. So they can be used on any levels of slough. This one, the Ergostart Plus pad, this can be cut to the size of the wound. Um, it can also overlap. It has been designed to protect the peri wound skin. But if you have any depth to the wound at all, then it's a better idea to cut it to the shape of the wound because we really do need that contact layer in contact with the wound bed. This one needs um, a secondary dressing. So it's ideal if you're using it for leg ulcers, it's ideal under um, compression bandaging but it will need um, a, a secondary dressing, so um, another dressing over the top like a foam. Ergostart Plus Border is adhesive itself, so this one is more for, if, again, if you're using it for leg ulcers for um, wraps and hosiery, you can actually cut the border to help it position, and remember that it's got that extra absorbent pad over as well to manage any exudate. Another little tip for using Ergostart Plus Border is if you gently remove the pad, you are able to reposition it to better fit the location of your wound. So just be careful because as you can see, we ha do have netting covering this absorbent pad and we don't want that to rip. But say for example, we have a wound near the sacral cleft and we don't want to remove any of the adhesive you can actually move the pad closer to one edge, let's say that's our sacral cleft, position the pad and get that little bit of adhesive in the sacral cleft, which leaves the rest of the adhesive to cover the buttock. So we're not actually removing any adhesive, which means we're going to get really good purchase with our dressing. And then we have Ergostart Contact, and this is our tool, our contact layer. Now this um, is to be used for wounds that have less than 30% slough. This one does not have the ability to clean the wounds, but it does have the TLC NOSF, so it has the ability to help those wounds to heal and manage those MMPs. So it's much better for, for patients with hard to dress areas. So if we have any cavities, you can scrumple it up. Uh, you can cut it as well. So it's very, very malleable and fits in really difficult to dress areas. 
So I'm just going to take you through um, a, a little bit of our clinical evidence. We do have a lot of clinical evidence and we're really, really proud of that. So if you do want any more details, then do contact us and we'll get your local rep in to come and see you about that. But we are really, really proud to tell you that we have nice recommendations for the use of Ergostart Plus on venous leg ulcers and diabetic foot ulcers. And we are the only dressing ever to have that recommendation. And it's because it's been proven to reduce healing time, which is really, really important. We know in particular um, that leg ulcers are on the rise and we're having to cope with more and more as, uh, as we go. And, and it's not good. Um, and, and because of that reduced healing time, we get the enhanced patient quality of life. And this has come off the back of two double-blind randomized control trials, and I'll take you through one in a second. And then we also have a number of other trials, including an observational study, which I'll run through now. So the NICE guidance you can see on the NICE website, um, but it recommends the use of Ergostart Plus because it's been proven to reduce healing time. And from that, it enhances the patient's quality of life. It's also been proven to easy to implement, which means that it supports shared care. Um, and, and it means that you can use it from day one right through to complete healing. And it does actually provide a cost saving for the NHS of £342 per year for a diabetic foot ulcer patient and £541 per year for a venous leg ulcer patient. So I'm going to take you through one of the RCTs now, and this was done on patients with neuro ischemic diabetic foot ulcers, which are renowned to be very, very hard to heal. And we looked at these patients, we followed them for 20 weeks, and we wanted to see um, how many of them had healed by that time. And when we looked at all of the wounds, and we looked at the patients that had uh, the neutral dressings used on them, it was found that 30% of that caseload had healed by 20 weeks. When we then compared that to the patients that had the Ergostart Plus treatment range, that increased by 60% to up to 48% of that caseload. So imagine now if 48% of your caseload healed by 20 weeks. That really is quite significant. But even better, if you start the um, Ergostart Plus treatment range sooner, so as soon as you see your patient, as soon as they present, it was found that on wounds that were less than two months old, when using neutral dressings, about 41% of the caseload healed by 20 weeks. But when patients were using Ergostart Plus treatment range, that went up by 73% to 71% of the caseload. So again, think about your caseload now and imagine if 71% of your patients were healing by, uh, by 20 weeks. I'm sure you would love that. <laughs> so then we, we, we thought, shall we have a look to see whether the results that we're finding in our clinical trials were actually reflected in real life? So we did our reality study, which was uh, an observational study, and we looked at over 10,000 patients uh, across a number of countries, and we found exactly the same. So these were a variety of, of uh, wounds, not just neuroischemic diabetic foot ulcers. And we found that using a neutral dressing, time to healing was about 210 days. So that's about seven and a half months, which would take us from now till mid-November. If then the patients were um, initiated onto Ergostart Plus treatment range, we were finding that healing time was reducing by 100 days, which is about three and a half months. So we're now looking at getting them healed by September, which it, you know it is, is a lot better, particularly for the patient. But even better, if we started Ergostart Plus treatment range on those newer wounds, that was further reduced by 33 days. So that's another month that they would have healed. So we're now looking at patients healing by August which is significantly sooner. And it means that patient can get back to their day-to-day -day life a lot sooner. Can you expect to see the result, these results in your practice though? Well, we are really, really happy that clinicians all over the UK are getting the same results. And I'm just going to take you through a few examples of what we're seeing um, out in those clinics. So we're seeing caseload numbers decrease 
wound healing time significantly improve, dressing change frequency reduce, and long-standing heal, uh, wounds heal. We're also seeing an improvement of quality of life and a reduction of both clinical nursing time and costs. And I know uh, a lot of you district nurses are really struggling with time, with capacity as well. So think how that would help um, in your team. Other findings are that we've made an overall cost saving of 9.2% and we're having reduced costs associated with health professional time because of those um, reduced visits and that improved healing time. We then um, uh, received a, a case study from uh, Joy Tickle, who's an independent tissue viability consultant, and she um, runs a lower limb wound clinic. And she decided to use Ergostart Plus Pad on her patients, keeping everything else the same. So she, she looked at 33 patients, 88% of those patients had comorbidities. And I have to say, those results were absolutely fantastic. And just imagine if this happened in your clinic. So by week 16, all wounds had healed. I think we need a little cheer for that one. By week six, 52% of the patients had healed. And by week eight, 76% of patients had healed. By week four, 95%, we had a 95% reduction in slough from the wounds. And by week eight, we had a 76% reduction in exudate levels and no high exudate was reported after week six. And then by week eight, we had a 90% wound area reduction. So like I said, just imagine if that could happen in your clinics. So now we're going to hear from Kat, who is a podiatrist, and she is going to talk about her experience with the Ergostart Plus treatment range. So I'm Kat Waller. I'm an advanced diabetes podiatrist for the Hull and East Yorkshire Podiatry Service. Um, working for CHCP. Ergo came to see us uh, as a podiatry team into one of our meetings and I put myself forward to do the trial as the lead podiatrist on this in the clinic. I felt like I needed something new to do in clinic and I thought I wanted to sort of prove the dressing wrong really because I read the paper regarding the Ergo Start Plus with diabetic foot wounds and thought nothing can quite be this good and uh, I was proved wrong because it was positive every time. When using the dressing, you can get a little bit more exudate and a little bit more maceration, but actually that is a part of showing the dressing's working. With Kathy's wound, it did hypergranulate as well a little bit along the scar line, but actually Kathy's really good and I knew she'd be a good candidate because I know her very well from treatment and she trusts me. And it was good to use it on her because I knew she would see it through with my advice and trust that even though it looks a little bit worse, she would continue to use it. So I found a lot of the patient feedback when I was asking them at the end of the trial, um, a lot of them commented on how easy it is to use the dressing. In our area, if the patients aren't housebound, you need the patients to go to a treatment room clinic for the nurses to change the dressings. To get an appointment within a week to two weeks with those nurses is very difficult. So the fact that the patients could use these dressings with ease and advice was a really big bonus. I would recommend that any clinician should try the Ergo Start Plus pad dressing because it is really hard to find a wound that it doesn't work on and I would encourage anyone treating diabetic foot wounds to, to use it. It's got the nice recommendation for a very good reason. range. It's really, really easy to integrate into the standard of care. Ergostart plus treatment range can be used under compression and under offloading. It, the dressings are really easy to apply. The boarded version, just treat it as you would a foam in your application. And because of the, uh, the ability to use it from day one right through to complete healing, it does support shared care. So you have that consistent care um, right through the, the variety of healthcare professionals that patient might see. So just to remind you um, how best to use it, who do we use it on? Patients with comorbidities, 
limited levels of mobility and certain lifestyle factors who are going to be more at risk of developing long-term wounds and wounds that will be delayed in their healing. If you start sooner, you will heal sooner. All of the evidence shows that uh, we get better results the sooner we, we initiate the treatment. So it is suitable to use from day one right through to complete healing. And that's for two reasons. One is that the Ergostart Plus range have the ability to clean the wound. So it's suitable for wounds from zero to 100% slough because it will keep clean wounds clean and it will clean wounds with slough on but also because it, it needs to control those overactive MMPs that are present in nearly all of the phases of wound healing, it's really important to maintain the treatment to keep those MMPs under control. Why do we use it? Because it's so simple to use. It's one treatment to use from day one right through to complete healing. The, the only times you would consider changing to something else is if you're... Um, wound shows risk of infection or sorry signs of infection um, if your wound turns malignant because it supports the growth of blood uh, new blood vessels and we don't want that in a cancerous wound or um, as as any other treatment if your patient so shows any sensitivity to the treatment other than that keep it on from day one right through to complete healing to keep those MMPs under control it heals even sooner, so it heal, it's proven to heal the wounds 100 days sooner and even sooner, sooner than that on, on newer wounds. Um, and it improves, it, it, from that, it improves patient's quality of life. And it's recommended by NICE. No other dressing is recommended um, by NICE for the treatment of diabetic foot ulcers and venous leg ulcers. So I'm just going to take you through some more tips. And the most important one I want you to remember is to be patient when using Ergostart Plus treatment range. MMPs are extremely volatile and vicious and they fight back and they want to do all, they want to destroy everything that they see. So when we're using Ergostart Plus treatment range, what we expect to see is a really good result within the first couple of weeks because it's a bit of a shock to the system. It's a little bit like going on a diet. Um, in that first couple of weeks, you lose loads of weight, you feel amazing, and, you're, and I'm not even hungry. And then things start to slow down. And that's what we see. So when we first initiate the Ergostart Plus treatment range, we will see a really good response. We will see a wound area reduction. We will see an increase in exudate, as Kat said. Uh, and a good response that, that something is happening in the wound. But then we may start to see things slow down. And it's at this point where you may start to think, has the dressing had its time? We're not really seeing what we saw before. Should we move on to something else? And it's at this point that I really ask you to hold your nerve. Because remember, these MMPs, they're fighting back. They want to get control back. And we need to allow Ergostart Plus treatment range to do its thing and to keep those MMPs under control. Because as soon as you take it off, those MMPs will be back doing what, what, what they're not meant to be doing and destroying the new, the new tissue. So keep it on unless the wound is showing sign of infection, cancerous wound or any sensitivity to the treatment. Let it do its thing right through to complete healing. And why does this matter? So we're just going to take you through an experience that Tim, who's a diabetic, had when he um, had a diabetic foot ulcer and he was given the Ergostart Plus treatment range. My name's Tim. I've lived in Essex uh, most of my life. Um, I'm 49 this year. My dog really is my life. She's my first ever dog um, and she's just such good fun. I was diagnosed diabetic type one on my 14th birthday, which is a great birthday present. You feel like you're given a list of all the things that if you don't do this, this will happen to you. And I can recite that list as being blindness, heart attack, stroke, and at 14, that's what you're given. So that is a huge thing to actually process in your head. Amputation was never one of them. I was just, I thought, well, you know, I am fit, I am active. 
I never saw that as being an issue. I mean, my first actual amputation was, was four years ago. I had a, a toe removed. Um, the actual foot ulcers probably started about two years before that. The ones before, they were fairly minor. They were treated, they recovered. Um, they weren't too bad. The, the last one was the most severe. And I think the results from that and everything else that occurred as a result of it um, has actually terrified me. I was at a, a friend's wedding in Greece and I bought a new pair of shoes for the event. I remember leaving the reception to go to the loo and as I was coming out of the loo there was a trail of blood across the floor and I took the shoe off. Literally all the skin on the ball of my right foot had just completely come away. They told me from the get-go that for it to recover you basically need to offload all the weight on your foot completely. In an ideal world, fantastic, but even when you're working, you can't just sit down and put your foot up for an entire day. Being a diabetic, sometimes I get hypos at two o'clock in the morning. I'd go downstairs to get a bowl of cereal, sort of hypo out, and there would be a trail of blood all down the stairs where everything had just literally seeped through the dressings that were on there. The worst thing, and this is really gross, is the smell. When it gets to the point when your partner says, I'm sorry, but I can't sit on the sofa next to you because I can smell your foot. The mental impact of that is just, is hideous. It wasn't getting any better, it wasn't recovering, it wasn't shrinking. Um, I eventually got diagnosed with sepsis. So, I rushed into hospital and my foot had literally blown up and the skin was starting to peel away from the top surface. I got admitted on the Sunday. On the Tuesday night, they put me in intensive care and summoned my next kin and said, this is it. Um, that was the most frightening it ever got. They said, right, okay, we've got this new dressing. Um, it's in sort of development stages. They're doing trials on it. So that was September last year and ergo start probably started about the end of September, beginning of October. And then we started to see really positive changes. The infection disappeared completely. Um, they started using the ergo start dressings, didn't require any additional padding on the foot. I could wear normal shoes. I could carry on with sort of, you know, walking, but keeping it fairly reduced to keep the pressure off. But we started to see a difference pretty rapidly. Just the whole appearance of it just changed. You know, the skin started to look healthy around it. The colour completely changed. You could see there's a better sort of blood supply to the wound coming in. And then literally from like one millimetre reduction a week, it went to two millimetre reduction a week. The depth of the wound reduced right down to almost nothing. And I think the final two weeks, which we're probably looking about two months ago now, it was so rapid between being a small hole to being nothing at all it was incredible. It didn't need changing as regularly as the previous dressings, and yet the results were so much more noticeable and so quick as well. Um, it was all a positive change. Absolutely amazing. I would say to other patients, absolutely push for Ergo Start as a treatment because the early stage results are so positive you've got to look at that recovery over the elongated time and cost. Ergo Start really is the way forward. From Tim's story that the Ergo Start Plus treatment range really can make a massive difference to the lives of, lives of your patients. We really do have to remember they're at the end of all of this and that's what we're doing this for. So this session has been designed to give you an introduction to the benefits of the Ergostart Plus treatment range. But what I really want you to remember is that it's the only treatment that's been proven to reduce healing time. And what I like about this image is that Ergostart Plus treatment range can help you as clinicians to heal the wounds that are at risk of delayed healing in a really simple format. So now we've got the opportunity to answer some of the questions that you've been sending in. Thank you for those. Over to you, Alex.
Uh, hi, Tori. Uh, well done on the presentation. Very interesting. Uh, so we've had a few questions in, so we'll just get cracking with uh, we'll get cracking with those. Uh, the first one is, when would you use Ergo Start Plus Border rather than Ergo Start Plus Pad? So Ergo Start Plus Border is this one. This is the adhesive border, and if you're using it on legs, it's under wraps and hosiery. But it's anywhere where you uh, you feel that you don't need bandaging um, and that you need to uh, have a secure dressing without the addition of another dressing. The pad is more of sort of uh, more of its in its natural state. So at this point, we would recommend using it, um, for example, if it's leg ulcers under bandaging, um, because it does need securing with a secondary dressing or bandaging. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, the next question is from Deb. Thank you for the question, Deb. Uh, how long do you have to leave dressings in place to achieve results? Well, as, as I said, it's about being patient. Um, so the, new, the, the sooner we initiate these uh, Ergostart Plus treatment range, the better we're going to see results. But it's, it's from day one right through to complete healing, regardless of the tissue type. Um, because remember, those MMPs are active in many of the stages of wound healing right through to contraction. So even if you think that wound is, is virtually healed uh, um, and, and you can see epithelial tissue, then I, I would still recommend its use until, until it's fully healed. Okay, and uh, the next one is how often should I change the dressing, which I think you probably just touched on. So how often would you change it? So we have a maximum wear time of seven days. However, if the wound is, um, has got heavy exudate or um, relatively thick slough, then use your clinical judgment and you may need to change that slightly more frequently until it calms down. Uh, thank you. Uh, next one, what different sizes of dressings do you have? Yep, so we have for the Ergostart Plus Pad, which is, oh gosh, they're stuck together now. Ergostart Plus Pad is this one. And we have a six by six, which is this, 10 by 10, and a 15 by 20. So that would be a rectangular size. For the Ergostart Plus border, we have an eight by eight, which is this one, 10 by 10, a 13 by 13, and a 15 by 20. And the Ergostart contact, we have a five by seven, a 10 by 10, which is this one, and a 15 by 20. Okay, is the, uh, the size of the, the, the border dressing, is that, um, are you measuring the size of the full, pad. Uh, the actual pad inside or the full dressing itself? Uh, the, um, the pad size. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, it's the full border. So this full is the eight by eight, and this is a 10 by 10. So you can see it's the full dressing the full size. dressing rather than just the yeah, pad it is, inside yeah. it. Okay, fine. Um, which types of wounds can I use it on? Uh, it doesn't specifically say what dressing you're talking about. So maybe give us give an example of uh, types of wounds that you'd use any of the dressings on. So in general, the Ergostart treatment range are, is to be used on patients that have those conditions that put them at risk of, of delayed healing. It's because it's more about how that wound is going to heal and what process is being affected by those conditions that prevent it from healing in, in the, um, the time frame it should be healing. However, when you've then identified those patients, we then have the different dressing formats. So with the Ergo Start Plus range, we would be using those on wounds um, of any, any type of slough, any amount of slough from zero to 100 or granulating or epithelializing wounds. And then the Ergo Start Contact is the one that's slightly more limited and it's where we would use it on wounds that have less than 30% slough, but that are hard to dress and need slightly more malleable, conformable dressing to fit inside. Okay, thank you. Uh, next question. If I'm worried that the wound is in, if I'm worried that a wound is infected, should I continue with Ergo Start Plus? No. Change over to an antimicrobial, manage the infection, get that sorted out. And once it's sorted and you're happy there are no signs of infection, you can then go back to thinking about healing the wound and move back over to the Ergo Start Plus treatment range. Okay, thank you. Um, there's a question here from 
and Harrod, which you've answered, which is how long could, could Ergo start dressing stay on for? Which you just talked about, it's seven days, unless uh, yeah, that's only seven days, sooner. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's have a look from Kerry. Are these dressings accessible on wound care formulary? Um, I'm assuming, Kerry, you mean your local wound care formulary, and I guess, unless we know where you are, it's difficult, <laughs> to, right? it's diffi it's difficult it. to answer that. But yeah. I mean, I, I, there you go, I'm doing your job for you now. I'm answering <laughs> I, unfortunately, I, I don't know where you are. It's available yeah. on a lot of formularies, um, but you would have to check with your uh, tissue viability team to, to see if it's on your formulary. Yeah, or Kerry, if you um, if you drop us a direct message, we can send that, uh, we can send that uh, query directly to Ergo uh, and they can let you know directly whether, uh, yeah. whether they're available on your local formulary. Uh, question from Vicky. In the community, we find that it's difficult to keep the consistency on dress the consistency on dressings and nurses going in. Keep the consistency on dressing and oh yeah, but keep the consistency on dressing and nurses going in. Would it matter if someone used a different dressing for one dressing change or would you or would that take you back to square one? It shouldn't take you back to square one. Um, obviously, your optimal treatment is to is to maintain it, uh, particularly if you have a pathway in place, then please follow your pathway. Um, so it, it, optimally, it is better to keep it on. However, I wouldn't say it will go right back to square one. It depends um, on, on the health of your patient and the condition they have. Um, but you will be able to then get back to that progress pretty quickly if you then restart Ergostart plus treatment range. So don't think that, you know, all hope is lost because you've you've come off it for one dressing change. You'll be able to get back on track again. OK, brilliant. Uh, so I think that's probably about it for now for the uh, for the questions. Um, Thank you very much for the uh, for the presentation, Tori. Uh, for any of you sure. that um, that didn't catch the entire presentation, it'll be available on on uh, on our Facebook page uh, immediately. So we'd like you to obviously share this with your colleagues and and uh, and your friends alike as well, so they can uh, they can watch it as well. Uh, a copy of the presentation will be available via our website tomorrow. Uh, Tori, uh, are people able to contact you to get um, samples or to speak to a local rep to be able to uh, find out more about the range? Yeah, I think there's been contact details flashing through. To, so do contact Ergo. We will then um, get our local rep to, um, or your local rep to contact you to be able to answer your questions. Okay, and when uh, when you go down, uh, when you download your certificate for attending, this does count towards uh, revalidation. Uh, there'll be an option on there for you to click that uh, that, that, that says that you want to uh, be contacted by somebody from Ergo. So if you click that, we'll pass on your details, and then someone will contact you with uh, with more information about the uh, the dressing range that we've been talking about today. Um, okay, so thank you very much. Uh, certificate links should be available on the screen now, along with uh, some contact details for Ergo. Uh, so that's the ergostartplus.co.uk forward slash contact hyphen us um, email address or, or website. Or as I said, you can do that via the certificate link. We'll be back with Ergo on, uh, on Monday of next week for another virtual lunch meeting, which is Clean and Kill Infection with Ergo Clean AG. We really do hope you can join us uh, then. Um, hopefully the weather where you are is uh, a little better than it is for me in Cardiff and Tory in Bristol. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to catching up with you soon. Goodbye.